Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Isaac, and today we're going to learn about how to set up the Apache web server on your dedicated server. That's right, by the time we finish today, you will have a working website. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to go uh, log into Webmin, and we're going to go over to servers, and we're going to go over to the Apache web server. This is the main configuration panel for our Apache web server. Uh, as you can see, uh, our hosting provider pre-installed Apache for us. We're running Apache 2.2.3, which is a fairly recent uh, version of the Apache web server. Uh, we actually have a site up and running uh, already, whatever you know came pre-bundled with the server. And this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really here yet. Uh, this is, you know, Apache serving whatever it's supposed to serve. And this is the default uh, thing that it serves. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take um, the website, well, the HTML page anyways, that we discussed in uh, when, we, when we talked about um, setting up uh, secure FTP in a prior lesson, uh, and we're going to set that website up. Uh, so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and click on Create Virtual Host. Now, um, a word about virtual hosts. Um, once upon a time, the Internet was younger. We had lots of IP addresses uh, and very few people using them. Um, so classically... Uh, every server, every website would have its server and would have an IP address for that website. However, uh, by the mid-90s, certainly by the late 90s, it was apparent that uh, the growth of the Internet uh, could not keep up uh, at, to allowing uh, every web server, to have, every website to have its own IP address. Um, and there were two very important protocols uh, developed in the late 90s um, that addressed this issue. One of them was HTTP 1.1. Uh, HTTP had been around before, uh, but the protocol version, but with protocol version 1.0. And protocol version 1.1, they introduced a special header called the host header. Uh, by which you would be able you'd be able to uh, piggyback many 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 websites onto a single IP address, um, and the Apache web server uh, was has always been classically, especially with HTTP related things, has classically uh, been one of the first uh, adopters to to conform to the standards. Um, and that could be because one of the uh, main people behind uh, the HTTP standards, a guy named Roy Fielding, uh, is, has long since has long been uh, uh, a member of the Apache Web Server development team. Uh, another big important uh, protocol that was developed to deal with this problem was what's called IPv6, uh, and where the host modification to HTTP dealt with modifying uh, the servers so that the websites, so that many websites can sing, sit on a single IP. IPv6 said, well, let's expand the IP range um, and support 65,000 times more uh, uh, IPs than we currently have. And we currently have um, a lot. Two to the 32nd power for anyone who, who really wants to uh, figure that out. I'm sure it's an easy number, but I stink at math. Anyway, so these two changes um, uh, allow us to deal with the problems of one IP address per web server. Uh, so IPv6 hasn't really gotten into mainstream yet, 
uh, as of the time of this recording. So what we're going to focus on is using the host address. Um, and luckily for us, the Apache web server has, like I mentioned, has this built in, um, and it's really, really easy to do. So when we talk about virtual hosts, uh, Apache has a list of many, many, many websites sitting on a single web server, which can be on one or more IP addresses and ports, uh, and every single one of those individual websites is called a virtual host. So we are going to set up a virtual host for the website of the user Isaac, which we created last time, uh, which we had a single index.html file for. Um, so we're going to tell it to handle connections for a specific address. 